I'm here for your touch. Apart from God, we can't do nothing. He's our helper. He's our Benisa. The Lord is here for you. Talk to him.
born of a woman, his days are full of what? Troubles. This world is evil. This world is evil. You can't, you can't compete. You can't walk this life alone without the help of the Holy Ghost. You can't succeed without the help of the Holy Ghost. It's full of evil. You have done life alone by yourself. You have tried a lot of things all by yourself. How far? You need God's help. You need the Spirit of God. I'm running because of time. I won't be able to explain this thing with scriptures, Christmas, because of time. But I believe God will communicate to the hearts. The Spirit of God makes a difference. Stay here. I know you understand. You have the experience. You have the intellect. You have seen how I raised the death. How I hate the sick. Oh, please, can I tell you the truth? Don't go out without the Holy Ghost upon you. Without that sin. It was important. How then you are a Christian, you are living your life without the Holy Ghost. You think you are in the world of business, you can have an advantage over someone in the world. No, the system of this world will not allow you. But when you have the Holy Ghost, it gives you an advantage. And that is what God did on the cross by His redemption. What about the sin? Galatians chapter 4 talks about the seal of the Holy Ghost upon a man which is the spirit of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost cannot be overemphasized in the life of a Christian. He don't even know how to pray. He thinks he's just shouting and shouting. Has the spirit helped you to pray? Ha! Ah, how do you know what to do next? Has the spirit whispered God's direction to you? Without the spirit of God, we as Christians, we think of the law and miss record this sense. This essence is not designed to help us as a Christian. God knew it. And he said, no, I have an advantage. I will give you the Holy Ghost. That's mark of the Spirit that will make a difference. Someone said, I need the Holy Ghost. I need the Holy Ghost. How do you receive the Holy Ghost? I'm very quick this morning. How do you receive? The Bible say us. Someone say us. I will say, us and we shall receive to you. God is not so wicked. Sometimes we are too proud to us. We think we know God. We are too familiar with God. We come to God, we tell, we just tell God, look at what I want you to do. God knows the help you need. Just ask him for help. Someone say, God, I need your help. Amen. Why you don't have help? Because you don't ask. But we say, ask, and it shall be given to you. He said, he's not so wicked that his soul will ask of his father a bread, he will give him a stone. Neither will he ask of fish, he give him. He said, how much more of God? That when you ask him, He's not going to give you. He said he will give you the Holy Ghost. He knew you need the Holy Ghost that will make a difference. It is not the bread that you need. It's the Holy Ghost. In that challenge you are facing, in that difficulty, have you asked the Holy Ghost? In your workplace, over there your child, have you asked the Holy Ghost? You will be using your intellect. You will be using your experience, your connection. You are limited in life. Holy Ghost makes a difference. Ask! And I will give you the Holy Ghost. Most of us don't ask. We depend so much on our ability. We depend so much on our skills. We depend so much on what we know, our knowledge. Can I announce to you, it's so limited. You don't know your tomorrow. You don't know your life. The Holy Ghost knows it. You are limited by depending on yourself on a man. The Holy Ghost makes a difference. The spirit of redemption. Spirit of redemption upon a man. Ask, and it shall be given to you. How then do you also receive the Holy Ghost? By being born again. Someone say, born again. As many as receive him, he gain power. Power of the Holy Ghost to become child of God. You are nothing without Christ. Apart from him, we can't bear any fruit. You need to be born again. It's not an old school, it's not out of fashion. Ah, Christ in me, the hope of all glory. Christ in me, the hope of all glory. It's Christ in me, the advantage I have. Ah, what cannot happen to Christ cannot happen to me. It's an understanding. I'm in Christ and He's in me. Why would so, someone will molest you? One, one old man, old person, will just do incantation, he gets you. It's because Christ is not in you. That things are not afraid of. 
Even though I'm walking through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. Why? Because he's with me. Christ. You need to have that Christ in you. You must believe and you must confess. Praise the Lord. Paraventure, you are a Christian. You are giving your life to Christ. But yet, it looks like things around you and your circumstances does not show that you have the seal of redemption. It does not show that Christ is with you. Because God's destiny for his, for his child is dominion on earth. He said we shall have dominion. When things around you does not look at it, in your head you are not having dominion. dominion. In your finances you are not, something is wrong. Devil is, devil's hand is dead. The enemy have done that. God's thoughts for you is for dominion. And that's why you need the Holy Ghost to help you ascend to what God's plan for your life. You can have the Holy Ghost. Just like you can have someone can pay money into your account. But if you don't have access to that money, although you have the money, but it's not but it's not useful to you. Two of us. As some Christians, as seen cases Christians, they have the Holy Ghost. They have the Spirit of God. But they are not walking in the spirit. First Corinthians 5 says that we shall walk in the spirit. Someone say walk in the spirit. This is not enough to have the Holy Ghost, but to walk what? In the spirit. So that you will not fight the deed of the flesh. Walking in the spirit. The Bible says, no matter what the enemies come against you, say the spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against them. There is a walk in the spirit. It brings about shared. No matter what comes around you, it raises the standard. The word of God cannot be broken. But you need to have the consciousness to walk in the spirit over the daily in your life. We are spiritual beings. We are not just human beings. We are more spiritual than woman. When we are woman here, it's just to interact. But if we are greater spirit, we don't die. I say you are God's. But because of lack of understanding, we die like men, men, men. We are gods. We are spirits. We are spirits. We are spirits. The more we speak, they are alive. They are spirits. It's not ordinary words. Because why? We are spirits. How then do I walk in the spirit? How then do I walk in the spirit? To have the reality of Christ's redemption in my life. I'm going to say three things because of time. I'm just walking with time. I know I'm not calling scriptures because I just want to walk with time to save time. Three things. One, consciousness. Someone say consciousness. 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 You must have consciousness of who you are in Christ. You must have that consciousness of who you are. Bible says you're a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar person. You must be aware. It's not enough to know it in the scripture. It is not a head knowledge. You must be aware. I know who I am. You have that consciousness. I'm anointed of the Lord. I have the spirit of the Lord inside me. And see, life don't happen to me, I happen to life. It's an understanding. I can't be sick. I can't be poor. It's a consciousness. Are you aware? Are you getting me? Are you with me? Yes. Elijah, they met Elijah. I said, we are looking for the seer. He said, no, I am the seer. He's not posting about that. He wants you to know he's aware of who he is. Just said the dream, the Peter of the dream. They said, we are looking for who he is. He said, Pharaoh, let me tell you. God will reveal, but I, Joseph, will interpret. He's aware of who he is, the entire Peter. Many of us don't know, you don't know who you are in Christ. You think you are a or trauma. You are a child of the most high. Are you understanding this? You must be conscious of who you are. Then you are not dealing with a book and you are dealing with a child of the most high. And I come with that consciousness of who I am. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. I'm not telling you to preach good tidings. This Jesus was confessing that. He came to the synagogue and opened the scripture. I said, let me tell you. He said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Making them to understand is aware of who he is. Don't let them make you talk down of yourself. Do you know you're right in Christ? By his stripe, you are made healed. Sickness, hear you the word of the Lord. Ah, I'm healed. 
Ihr doch laut. When the devil attacks, what he wants to get from you is your consciousness. He wants to get your will to, to partner with him for him to fulfill his assignment in your life. But show up with the word of the Lord. I know who I am in Christ. I'm the head and not the tail. Then they may gather around me, but my Bible tells me they will scatter. I have that understanding of who I am. It's, I'm not afraid of who is against me. I'm not conscious of who is with me. Christ is with me. And who is with me is better than who is against me. Consciousness. 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 Of your rights as a believer. Consciousness of the Holy Ghost in you. It's a nice difference. You go to your place of work. It's not like business as usual. People are compromising. People are complaining. No, we don't complain. Are you understanding me? We don't complain. We make things happen. We make things happen. This business, you are different. I don't care what is happening in the world. You are different. God said he will make a difference between them. As long as serve the Lord, he will make a difference. Consciousness. There was a consciousness in my life many years ago. I shared this testimony often. I, a, 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 three people very close to me have a, a dream about my death. My mom had a dream in the night and saw my burial in the night and called me in the morning and was telling me they saw my burial. And I was like, what is this? I took it as my mom's work, as a mom, you know, South Bolivar. My sister married in Lagos. Called the same morning, the same night, had a dream. He saw my me in accident. I should not travel anywhere. Imagine two people close to you. One night, saw about your death. Ha. You know, by the matter of truth, the world is established. He didn't stop there. My auntie in Uncharted called the same morning. One night, it wasn't a different night, they had the same dream. It was too good. It was it has happened in the realm of the spirit. But that morning, I was about preparing my breakfast to eat. This call we are coming. I was troubled in my heart. But a word came to my spirit. A word I was consciousness about. In Psalm 91, I said, because you have set my love upon you, I will sanctify you with a long life. Immediately the word came in my spirit. I started confessing the word. If, if the word of God can be broken, then let me die. Or if I didn't love the Lord, let them come. As long as the word of God is here, it is not a story book that is power in the world. The reason why it's not working for you, you have not had the consciousness of the world. You are reading that a story. You read that God healed the sick, and you are sick in the body. You don't, you don't have the consciousness that God can heal you. You are just doing that a story. I had that consciousness that I love the Lord, and I can you sanctify me in long life. I said, they will try this. I said, I'm not fasting. They said, everybody should fast. I said, I'm not fasting. I picked my food and ate. I said, the consciousness is in me. I've never been rested all my life. They will not try. He knows. Once you are full of the word of God, you can defeat him. What Jesus used to defeat devil was the word. Be cautious. And God has put a lot of things concerning you by his word. Don't read it as a book. Don't take your word away. Study the word. Have the word. Be cautious of what God says about you. Be cautious. I have the Holy Ghost. Things don't happen to me, they happen to things. I can't be down and I'm up. I'm not going down. It's an awareness. Second important thing because of time. You must speak faith in the world. Someone says speak faith in the world. Speak faith in the world. Bible says whatever you say, you will have it. Kings reign by their words. God did not come down and start using blocks and cement. Bible says he speaks. Let there be light and there was light. Everything you see in this world was made out of a spoken word. You must understand the ability to create your word by your word. Don't be surprised that the things that happen to you is a result of things you say, even unconsciously. In the realm of the spirit, they don't hear language. I don't hear Hebrew or English. What they hear is life and spirit. Life and death. Are you hearing me? In the realm of the spirit, if you are saying you are sick, what they are hearing that you are sick. Are you hearing me? Yeah. It doesn't matter whether you are just saying it joking. Hmm. Understand this. That's why Bible says, let no one in silence say, I am what? Sick. It is an abomination. 
vision. It's not the language of the kingdom. Is someone following me? It's not an abomination. How is things? Things are hard. Ah, it's not hard for me. Is someone hearing me? We create our world with our world. Faith in world. Faith in world. Even though there is a casting down, right? We say there is. So it will happen. But I will say. Faith in war. What is your confession? That is your position. What I hear you say. What are the things you confess? What are the things you say? This is how to walk in the spirit. You take the word of the Lord. You begin to confess the word of God. You begin to speak the word of God over your life. My children, you shall rise. You shall die with kings. You shall not be small, you shall be great. It doesn't matter that you are for now. Your word will prevail over that circumstances. They will want you to confess your environment. It doesn't determine you. It is word of God that determines you. Faith, feel word. Faith, feel word. Faith, feel word. This is how to walk in the spirit. The word of God is anointed. When you feel the word of God, you are confessing to your life. I believe the report of the Lord. I believe what God says about me. It doesn't matter what is around me. Give it time. You shall, you shall show up. What are the things that you confess daily? What are the things you say often? Look at your life. That might be what has done in your life. The young woman, you are getting at the age of 30. You feel like you can't marry right again. That you want to compromise. That's not true. Can I tell you, in the realm of the spirit, the older you get, the beauty you are. The older you get, the more. I stay the word of the Lord and I'm favored of the Lord. Marriage is more by gameness. If God, if God shows you favor, it will make a difference in your life. Don't believe the, all the snake saying of the world. Believe the word of the Lord. Believe the word of the Lord. We have many of us has been wired that the circumstances of this life have built our life. We believe easily the circumstances of this world than the word of the Lord. Hey! Do you know what the scripture gives us in the world? What it is? There's no mountain that cannot be leveled. How used are you with the word of God? How addicted are you with the word of God? You have what it takes to become all that God has in store for you. But how, how delighted are you with the word of the Lord? How, how delighted? You are complaining here and here, looking for solution here and here where there is no solution. Instead of delighting on the world that makes a difference. Faith feel war. God puts, you see here, Everything that happens to your body is about your mouth. Say, those that know how to use that mean your mouth and reach the good of this one. In James, he was talking about the tongue. He said, even a horse, they put a grid in his horse in the mouth. Why? To control the whole body. If you know how to use your mouth, if you know how to use your mouth positively, through God's word, you will go farther than what you are. It doesn't care whether you are talking. The realm of spirit here, ah, he's speaking life. Or he's speaking that faith in God. God, take me in my mouth. Touch my lips. But I always speak that word that is edible. That word that is able to bring back to life. Life and spirit. Third important thing that we must have to walk in the spirit is joy disposition. Someone say joy disposition. Ah, everything in this world is to distract you from the presence of God. That is the purpose why devil attack Christians. Two reasons. To distract you from God's presence. And once he distracts you from God's presence, he distracts you, he destroys, he distracts you from the purpose of God. He can't destroy it. Are you understanding that? God has a plan and purpose for this. So why devil bring sickness, bring hardship? Bring circumstances, situations, troubles. It's to distract you from God's presence and distract you from God's purpose. I want to show you what it takes to have an advantage over the devil whenever he tries in any way. Joy disposition. Joy disposition. Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 17. Bible says, even though the fig tree does not blossom, 
everything you have toiled and toiled, it does not work. It does not grow you. Neither the fruits or the vine, nothing. You have labor. You have toiled, nothing work. Everything you have tried by human possible. Verse 18. The Bible said, Verse 18. Are you there? He said, Yes, I will rejoice in the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. Despite the circumstances, you know, human form are wired. When things are bad, is to complain, is to lament. And you say, You don't find solution there. You don't activate the spirit to be at your own advantage whenever you are complaining. Are you understanding me? It is time to say you enter, you become joyful. Then who is looking at that? I thought I created this one with sickness. Why the joy? Why the joy? I thought I created this one with Ashi. Why the joy? What is happening? Verse 13. When you are now joy in the Holy Ghost, look at what happened. He said, The Lord God is my strength, and I will make his feet like a high speed, and he will walk upon his high places. You begin to see the situation begin to change. Someone that was downcasted, nothing is working. All of a sudden, he's working in high places. All of a sudden, things are working better. Why? You know how to activate the spirit. You know how to walk in the spirit. Ah! It was a secret of David. Just walk him up. Let him just praise the Lord. Let him worship the Lord. In Psalm 42, verse 5, he was talking about praising the Lord. Even though I said to my soul, David said, Oh my soul, why are you downcasted? Ah, that is the purpose of God. He wants to make you downcasted. Say no, child of God. Are you hearing me? Say no. He said, Oh my soul, why are you downcasted? He said, I will rejoice. I will join in the God of my salvation. They will want you to look and behave as death. God does not have ability and power over your life. I will join in the God of my salvation. I will rejoice in the God of my salvation. The moment I begin to rejoice, the moment I begin to joy and I praise the Lord, situations start changing. You know, when we pray, when we sing, when we worship, we are doing business with the Spirit. You are not, maybe, you are just praying. You are not asking God for favor. You are worshiping. You are not asking, but God knows that you need a favor. He's touching somebody's heart to remember you. That is how you walk in the Spirit. It is not when you complain. So you stay in your closets and you begin to worship. Begin to thank God. God knows your need. The Spirit tests it and start harvesting. Start touching your needs. Walking in the spirit. There are many issues. There are many, 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 many things I could have said that will help us walk in the spirit. But I want to stay on this three because of time. Walking in the spirit. Having that consciousness. Speaking that faithful word. And having that joy and disposition. As a That day will be looked at. Ah. I thought. I thought I inflated this young man. Ah, what is happening? We live our life from inside out. We don't live from this outside in. Ah, Christ is in me. Before you know it, I'm getting brighter. The part of a church is shining brighter. There is no day that is better than yesterday. There is no yesterday that is better than tomorrow. The Bible says the part of a church is shining brighter. You must refuse what the Lord did not say about you. Ah, ah, it shall come out today, man. Are you hearing me? Yeah. It shall get brighter and brighter and brighter until a perfect consciousness, faithful world, joy, disposition. God has a solution for every troubles of mankind. He has a way out, and that's why He has given us His spirit. In Zechariah, He was talking about ah, what is this? Is this horse that rise against Israel? Horse. Attacking them. He knows this will happen to us as believers. But Bible says he has set up what? Capping tasks. You see, there is always, every time that is a, a Christian is trouble, God is always in a hurry. God always provides solution. The way he look like devil is always winning because we are not aware of who we are. We are not walking in that light of the spirit. The spirit of redemption, the seal of God upon the man. Ask yourself this question. Do I have the Holy Ghost? It's an advantage. Am I, am I in church in activity without the help of the Holy Ghost? <laughs> you, 
You might think you 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 pass stage one. Devil is waiting for you next one. It is the Holy Ghost that will make you. Where you can be, devil cannot touch you. It's the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Ghost. Church will pray. Will pray. It's the Holy Ghost. Hmm. I know God has spoken to you right now. We communicate His word, my Father, to us. Talk to God and say, God, I need your Holy Spirit. I need your Holy Spirit. I've done life on my own. <laughs> I can't go any further. I need your Holy Ghost. I need the advantage. <laughs> what makes it different in the life of a Christian? I cannot be in the world and somewhere in the world we are just making competition. Ah, because you don't understand where you are coming from. Say what I need you. I need you all yours. 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 Sincerely cry. When you ask for bread, he knows that his holy ghost that you need. Sincerely tell him, Father, I need you. Why you are not finding help because you have not really asked? You have not because you ask not. There's no man that asks that person will see. Ask that holy ghost. And not for throwing from pillar to post. What you have today, what you will receive from God is able. He said, out of your belly shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. He's able to make you. He's able to pick in your body. He's able to change the situation. Is someone asking? Is someone asking? Is someone asking? Mede suataka ya talia tapara talada da. Eketo prata ya to si da baranda kasada baranda. Eketo shalaba. In the name of Jesus, church, can we stand up on our feet? I like us to make a prayer. God, lay this in my heart right now. Isaiah 42 verse 22. Isaiah 42 verse 22. Isaiah 42 verse 22. I want us to see the scripture and I want us to pray. Isaiah 42, please. He said, But this is the people wrought and spoiled. They are of their snatching hall and they are high in prison's houses. They are for prayer and not delivered them for his fall. He's talking about God's people. They were wrought. They were beaten. They were in, keep in prison. This evil is attacking them. This is happening. Bible said, No one to deliver them. Why? Because no says respond. No open at his mouth and say, God help me. No open at his mouth and say, God respond me. No open at his mouth and say, God come for my help. I don't know what devil has molested you for. I don't know what devil has delayed in your life. I don't know how devil has manipulated your destiny. If only you will cry out this morning, Lord restore my soul. Restore my destiny. Restore my purpose. Restore my family. Restore my finances. Help me, Lord. Help my destiny. Help my marriage. Help, help, help. Try out, church. Your deliverance is coming. Your healing is coming. Lord, help me. Lord, heal me. Lord, deliver me. Lord, restore me. The word of God is true. So to pray, 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 pray. So to 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 pray, pray, pray
over your life. That delay testimony. Can you speak over your testimony? That delay miracle. Can you speak? Can you speak? Let the Lord hear you. Let the Lord hear you. Let the Lord attend to you. Let there be restoration. Let there be life. Let there be restoration. Let there be life. Speak, church. Speak, church. I shall live. I shall not die to declare the words of the Lord. I shall live. I shall not die. Declare the word of the Lord. And be held on the tell. Let God swap the matter. The blood of the sword.
and hear the mark of God. Let God's thoughts rest upon you. Let God go fresh upon you. That the way is lost forever. That the way is lost forever. Every mark of the enemy is cancelled. The mark of God will rest upon your life. The God's mark will rest upon your life. You will be accepted from issues. You will be accepted from troubles. No shall reside you. No shall keep you. No shall guide you. No shall bring you to an expected end. That is God for you. Bless his holy name. Holy Spirit, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, blessed Father. Thank you for your promise. Summarize that prayer. I will pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord in heaven, we thank you. Thank you for watching. I shall love in that spiritual peace for your servant, O oh God. I pray, O oh God, as a minister, continue to enrich him. God to bless his family. God to give him in the ministry as the son youth president. And the ministry will go on flourishing in your power in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, blessed Father. Thank you for baptizing us again and fresh with the Holy Ghost. May your name be exalted, Jehovah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you shout a big amen? Amen. Can you shout a big amen, church? Hallelujah. Thank you, brother. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Please, if you are, have your heart, can you stand? Let's pray. Let your two